Hi, I'm Dion and in this video I want to show you how I made this drawing. I want to talk about my thought process while drawing and I want to talk about the method that I use and mistakes that I make. For instance, this eye was in uh, the wrong spot. It was a little bit to the left and uh, a little bit um, too high. Um, and I didn't notice that until right after the recording. So I cannot show you how uh, I corrected that. But uh, I want to talk about how to prevent those kinds of mistakes. Um, and I will speed this video up, obviously, because it was two and a half hours of drawing this. So um, yeah, if you like this video, please give me one of those. And you can subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. This is Dion Draws. Let's draw. All right, um, I start here with um, um, determining the top and the bottom of the circle that I'm going to draw. The circle is just a way to start a drawing. It can be um, described as uh, the Loomis method or a modified version of the Loomis method. Um, for me, the circle has three purposes. It determines the uh, position on the paper, that's composition, and it helps with uh, proportions. Uh, like here I'm uh, drawing the middle of the of the the circle that will be the the middle line of the face and uh, the horizontal line will be the the eyebrow line so that helps with proportions and um, well the third thing for the the purpose of the of the circle uh, would be just to have something down on the paper to help you uh, overcome that blank paper of fear maybe that some people have it, uh, it just helps okay moving on it's um, well uh, I'm determining the top of the hairline and the bottom of the nose where I'm working now uh, the bottom of the circle is uh, the place where the mouth is going to be and right now I'm determining the, the bottom of the chin. So that's um, in thirds, measuring in thirds. The, yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. So uh, from the bottom of the nose to the bottom of the chin is equal to the bottom of the nose to the uh, eyebrow line and um, the eyebrow line to the hairline hairline that's uh, that's three equal parts usually in most people and right now I'm just uh, mapping out the contours of the face and uh, the charcoal that I'm using here is uh, just a very uh, soft piece of uh, vine charcoal or it's willow, I don't know, but it's very easy to uh, correct something. If you if you have something wrong, you just wipe it off with your finger or a tissue. And here I'm um, taking a little bigger piece of uh, vine charcoal, and I'm um, drawing in the the shadow shapes. So first I'm uh, drawing the, the line that separates the light from the dark. Um, and after that I will fill it in. So here uh, around the mouth and the chin there's uh, usually the line that separates and then the forehead goes here and then the left side of the face is a little bit more in shadow. And here I'm filling it in, just with diagonal strokes. You can use different strokes if you like, but it doesn't really matter because I'm going to blend it.
Here I'm uh, refining more of the shadow um, because uh, on the edge of the face the shadows are darker because it turns away from the light. So that's what I'm doing here. Putting down charcoal and later on I will uh, blend it in again with the, with the brush and um, after that I will put down more charcoal again so it's a repeating process really putting down charcoal blending it in putting down charcoal again the shadow but on a smaller scale so uh, it's it's basically the same but if you work on a smaller scale you'll get uh, more detail automatically so it's the same process
at this point uh, you'll see that I start at the details with the eyes so this would be the moment where I should uh, recognize um, my mistake but uh, I didn't so um, this would be my advice if you uh, uh, use this approach for a drawing uh, especially when uh, you start drawing in the details with your pencil that's the time when you want to be extra precise so I should have um, uh, I should have measured more I should have uh, taken uh, more um, care with placing down these lines then uh, I would have uh, recognized my mistakes sooner um, but it's hard when you um, uh, work on something for a long time you kind of get uh, a sort of tunnel vision where you don't see your mistakes anymore and in this case I didn't recognize it until uh, well uh, it was too late well it's, it wasn't too late because I could correct it at the end but I didn't recognize it before Here I'm uh, adding in the, the dark background, the surrounding of the face, that is the hair. And uh, right away you will notice that the face will come out more just because of the contrast uh, of values. The dark hair against uh, the lighter face. That's, uh, that's often a, a nice trick to make uh, the drawing come to life so to speak.
as we're approaching the completion of the drawing, I decided to put in uh, a background, as you'll see right now. Uh, I don't think it was especially necessary for this drawing because of, um, well, it would be nice to have the contrast uh, between the dark hair and the white uh, background. But yeah, I did anyway, and it's, uh, it's okay, I guess. So, um, yeah, we'll uh, get the end result, signing, of course. So, uh, that's it. Um, I hope you like uh, this kind of video where I talk about my process a little bit. And um, if you do, please leave a comment. Uh, if you want something else, you can also leave a comment, of course. Uh, I read uh, through all of them. And... Um, I usually respond um, and uh, maybe you have a suggestion about uh, the next video uh, you're welcome to put it in there too all right um, see you next time